I, I thought we played better. Um, take out the first few minutes, the first period where they blitzed us a little bit. I thought we played better away from the puck. Um, it set us up for a third period, um, two to two away. We get to get back to winning third periods. And we didn't win the third period, but we win the game. I, I think that's what we need to get back to in those type of situations. Uh, were we perfect? Far from it. But I, I thought we played more of our game. More of our game for more minutes. And they seem to have one another's back throughout the entire game. There's a lot of, a lot yeah. of kind of opportunities for that. Yeah, yeah. It, it was, uh, it's a fast team. They're a fast team. Bob certainly gave us a chance early in the game. Uh, did some pretty good things for checking. Lost ourselves for a few minutes here and there. But uh, it's an improvement as far as the grind in our game. Jones has had some some tough nights in overtime, but he's had some big nights in overtime. Who's that? Too. Seth Jones. Oh, he, he played a hell of a game right yeah. on through too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah he he had so he he's been he the thing I liked about him all through the game is he tried to make a difference. It, it I watch him make some cross ice passes. I watch him uh, spin in the third period, make a cross ice pass to get us going offensively. He certainly wasn't safe, and we've talked about not being safe. Uh, but also trying to make the plays. He, he made a lot of plays tonight. And I think it's fitting that uh, he buries one in the top corner there at the end of the game. Yeah. John, you, you mentioned earlier today kind of being the hunted. What, how do the good teams generate, I don't know what you want to say artificially, but match the intensity of teams that are fighting, fighting, fighting on a daily basis? Yeah, I, I think it's uh, to, to do that in the amount of games you play, in the dog days of the season, uh, I think we don't like looking ahead, but I think you have to have some sort of semblance in your mind when you're playing these games that teams are ready for you. And I go back to the defensive side of the puck that you have to have a concentration there. And, and the, the concentration of playing away from the puck and the hardness that you need for as many minutes in the game as you can, that gives you an opportunity to play these type of games. To me, it's a game of attrition. Uh, and to me, this is the, the it, it's, it's period of period of period within a three period game, but it's attrition through this part of the schedule. So it's, to me, it's a mental toughness. And, and I, think, uh, I, I think that's where uh, we, we're, we're gonna have more lessons. Uh, this is a big win for us just to stop a little bleeding. And you know, we've played consistently three out of our last four. Um, they, they just have to understand how difficult it is. We've talked about it forever in these meetings we've had the past week or so. They have to experience it and accept, uh, accept the challenge of that they have to raise their level. It, it's more responsibility. Right. As I said before the game, this is a great spot to be in, but accept the responsibility that comes with it. It's easy to play when you're basically out. Mm -hmm. And a lot of guys have been in that situation. It's easy to play hard and, and just let your game go. There's responsibility that comes with this, not only physically, but mentally. How much do you like seeing Hartnell take it upon himself to sort of answer for the hit? On Anderson yeah. at the end of the second. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I don't know what happened on the call. Uh, that's definitely a headshot. Uh, but th those are the little things that we need as we go through go through the season here. And uh, yeah, uh, um, you know, I, I thought Jens played another good game. That line played another yeah. good game. So the the grind of those guys, Hartsy bounced around on some lines because they thought he deserved it. Uh, you know, step by step, and hopefully we can just. Hopefully we can just keep climbing. I don't think it's going to happen like that. I just want us to keep climbing during this part of the season and not have a little bit of a knee jerk and, and struggle. Have you noticed more this year when two players, gloves off, committed to fighting, an official stepping in? Yes, do I you, have noticed. Do you know why that is? Has there been any sort of communication? Well, from what I understand, what was told of me to me in that, because I think they just should fight and just then it's over. I, I, I think uh, I think there's a there's been a directive uh, that if they can stop the fight, stop the fights. I think this, the way I look at it, the, I, I think it has to do with concussions and all the talk yeah. about that and just the scrutiny on it. Um, but I'm just, that's just speculation on my part. I, I know I've been told one time that when I asked them, why don't you just let them fight? You're going to get hurt. The linesman are going to get hurt in those situations because they're flailing. But I think they've been directed a little bit to, to stop that. And uh, um, I'm not... Yeah, so that's what's been. You've got seven in a row now at home. <coughs> Real chance. No, here. we have one in a row at home. <laughs> yeah, one in a row and then yeah. Seven. Yeah. 
we we need to really be careful there. That, that's a lot of games. Right. Uh, we just need to, I think it gives us a really good chance of we're not traveling, because we've been bouncing back and forth with our travel here of late. It gives us a chance to buckle down and work at our game. Uh, and as I said the other night, it's our, it's our home building. I think we have to get some consistency how we start the games, first of all, and, and make sure that's a tough place to play. But let's just start with the Vancouver game and work from there. That's John, there was a lot of attention on Zach tonight, and I think he was creating opportunities, but how, how difficult was that play he made there in overtime where he gave up the puck and then prevented the, the breakaway going yeah. the other way? How difficult was yeah. that to do? Well, he's a strong kid, yeah. and uh, he made some really he, – he was really involved tonight. We talked uh, about a level. His first game here this year, he was wet in his pants, and he told us. He was so nervous he couldn't get out of his own way. Tonight, I think he knows this is the la he, he wrote the letter and – which was terrific, and I think he wanted to make sure he made a difference tonight. And he, he, every time he was on that ice, something good was happening. And that that's a subtle play, uh, which which could end a game for us if he doesn't make it. So uh, he took a step in the right direction, and I, and I think he was really geared up, knowing the whole situation with this building and how many times he's played in it, that he wasn't going to leave anything on the ice. And uh, uh, I, you know, a 19-year-old kid, as we talked earlier. Uh, there's, there's even another level than he showed tonight. He doesn't realize it yet. Uh, we'll get him there.